Let's play set. The designer, how did this happen? How did the designer think of this? <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> awesome. I'm oh, having a bit of an existential, crazy moment. <laughs> it's estimated there are around 37,000 love hotels in Japan, bringing in about $50 billion of revenue every year. $50 it's billion? It's a big business, and it's hardly a surprise given how many families in Japan live in multi-generational households with walls made of paper. But love hotels aren't like regular hotels. They're pretty unique in more ways than one. And by the end of this video, you'll be an expert on the subject. Recently, through a friend of a friend who owns a stylish chain of love hotels here in the city of Sendai, we were able to go in and explore the rooms. I'd been told that this love hotel in particular had some pretty ridiculous and crazy rooms, and the hotel certainly didn't disappoint. After meeting the owner, Yasushi Shishido, first he took us into one of his standard rooms to show us the kind of services you can get in a love hotel. Da -da -da. Whoa. It's like being in another world all of a sudden. Yeah, this is the first thing video. you notice when you walk into a love hotel is it's very closed off from the world. There's no windows. Obviously you can see outside if you wanted to. There's windows there, but you feel very contained. Very romantic. <laughs> oh, yeah. The one thing that differentiates any love hotel from a normal hotel is these extra special amenities. Uh, so here we have big honey, honey drops, mm. body massage lotion, good for your skin apparently. Yeah, you sky muscle. Sky And then you've got some condoms here. It's my favourite. Big honey. It's not. It's not a small honey. That's big. What's this? I'm giving me the glass. There's a eye mask and oh, <laughs> it's a present. 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 You know when you go to a normal hotel, you get a toothbrush, uh, hairbrush, some other soap and stuff to take home. Here you get pink rotor, uh, which is oh, a, you know vibrator. Yeah, so you get a vibrator and an eye mask. Not bad, eh? And big honey. Costume. Cosplay. Yeah. What you could have? Free. Free? Two, two rental free. Really? Free. Which is the most popular? Popular. It's kind of Schoolgirl. Maid. Maid. In maid. Yeah, I'm not maid. surprised. Maid and schoolgirl is the most popular. That's so many. Takusan. Takusan. What is that? What is it? Fifty. 50 varieties, 50 varieties of cosplay costumes to rent. I could stand here and look at these all day, uh, out of curiosity rather than. Out of cu yeah, curiosity. Like, uh, yeah, sure. Princess. Margaret Princess. Okay. Okay. Kore de. Chum. Right. So we've ordered our uh, incredible costumes. Having ordered our costumes, we went to collect them from a hole in the wall near the front door. Discretion is one of the key elements of staying in a love hotel, where you'll very rarely see any staff during your stay. Even choosing your room is done through a computer screen. And when it comes to paying, it's also usually done through a machine built into the wall of the room. This discretion and secrecy means you really feel like you're in a bubble the whole time you're in a love hotel. A bubble filled with incredible costumes. Oh yeah. I wish all hotels were like that. And Very then I would never have to have interacted with anybody when I worked for the hotel. It would have been great. Like your favorite princess. <laughs> this is an air stewardess <laughs> uniform. <laughs> My head's big head, but one foot. So food and drink, like alcohol is very, very cheap here. And the reason is when people come here, they often come by car. And if they drink alcohol and eat lots of food, they wanna they're gonna stay longer. Uh, so they find by having a lower price food and drink, people actually stay longer. Because love hotels often use a pay-as-you-go system, they try to entice customers to stay by providing them with everything you could possibly ever want. Food, movies, beer, costumes. Why would you ever want to leave? This is my breakfast. Beer, the world's biggest honey toast. I don't know how I'm going to be able to eat that. Yeah, that's uh, huge. Chicken karyage, which is fried chicken. Uh, hamburger with rice and salad. And uh, potatoes. This is ridiculous. There's so much here. I mean, it's, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. So, <laughs> this is breakfast. It's food duel. Most of our hotels. You get a bath with a jacuzzi built in it. 
And a television. I mean, what more could you want? That's the best thing in the world ever. Whoa. Oh, fucking and the jets, final nice. touch romance. Mood lighting. So relaxing. Look at the bubbles. Oh my god. <laughs> One interesting thing here, oh, I've just discovered, this body soap is unscented. Uh, so the idea is you can come here, have a bath, have a shower, use this, and no one will ever know that you went to a love hotel. So you come home and no one will smell that you've showered or anything. Uh, I never thought about that. Hmm. That's one thing you, never, you would never have thought about, would you? But it makes sense, really. This body soap could be the difference between life and divorce. Well, so, uh, there's even magazines, but you can choose. Probably gonna get escort. divorced anyways. Well, so one hour. Yeah. If you're doing that. Fifteen thousand yen, which is about 150 dollars or so. And uh, this is there's quite a lot in this magazine. <laughs> oh my god. In Japanese, a popular term for escort girl is uh, delivery health. I'm not even making that up. They're like you would. Delivery, delivery health? health. Because I guess they're delivering health. Our shop is a shop only amateur wife. These are amateur wives. I don't know what the definition of amateur wife is. Someone who's not very good at being a wife and is therefore cheating on their husband by being an escort. Having checked out all the services and amenities you can get by staying in a love hotel, we were shown to some of the more exotic and stylish rooms. <laughs> What's Everybody knows that prostitution you know, is how you recharge your health like points. True. Yeah. yeah. I played GTA. Crazy elaborate rooms with quirky design features. This is like that. This is bonkers. There's a staircase. I don't know where it goes yet. What's the, what's going on here? Bean bags, goats, pandas, geese. <laughs> what's all that about? I don't know. But this is this is awesome! Wow. If I was rich, this is the kind of room I would have as my bedroom. Just if you were well, this was four years ago, yeah. so he wasn't making a lot of money back then. Look at this toilet. Probably. Yeah, if you sit, if you sit on that toilet. You feel like a god, I imagine. Fuck it up. <laughs> so when when the girl's in the shower, you can sit in there and hide. Apparently, the girl goes in the shower. You can sit in there and. Peep over the edge and look. I'm not even joking. That's what it's designed for. Well, that's what they put the vibrator in there so you can fuck yourself. It looks like something out of um, Alice in Wonderland. No. What's going on? What's going on? Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, that's why you just fuck yourself. Easy. Awesome. <laughs> you found the secret loft. Well done. <laughs> this is bonkers. There must be at least a hundred, hundred teddy bears and goose and ducks and things. Did he just pick that oh, up and call it a duck? And goose and ducks and things. I'm sure oh, they watch them all the time. <laughs> yeah. So this is the peeping, peeping, peeping box. The peeping box? The idea is the girls in the bath or whatever, you can look through like that. What the fuck? <laughs> what a sight. Not, not the sort of thing. This is the manager, I, I love that. that. Having a bit of an existential. It was a moose. Crazy moment. <laughs> There's a sense of. Apparently, it was a duck. They were making this room. They just thought money is of no object. <laughs> it's <laughs> only the no. The designer. How did this happen? How did the designer think of this? What were they doing? I could see myself coming here for love and uh, spending most of my time just walking around. So you're saying it was a horny horse? Interior. Whether it's the weird, crazy teddy bear cave, or the hole in the ground for peeping at people in the bar, or the temple shrine toilet, oh my you know, I could spend hours in here just looking around being mind by the design.
Dude, I'm sure lots of people were in there. Kumi? Kumi? <laughs> They're just, they're just, they're just in the teddy bears. It's like a cinema room. <laughs> Let's play sex. Oh, you could have so much fun here. You could have so much fun. So in here, you can sit on the toilet and uh, watch TV down the other end of the corridor. <laughs> no, 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 Even no, no. This discreet little building has so many crazy and exciting rooms inside it. Uh, okay, so one night in a hotel room like this, in a love hotel room like this, is about 12,000 yen. Uh, $120. A lot, apparently. It's pretty reasonable, though, <laughs> what it is. The only is, room, is only appropriately... Room. These rooms. Like a uh, sized house room, in see. Japan. This is like a theatre and a children's play area rolled into one, you know. And the other one, I feel Well, like I think they've been, like they were in multiple rooms. Las Vegas Hotel. Uh, it's just fun. So there you have it, the magic of love hotels. If you're in Japan, well, if he ha it depends. If he has it on the TV in, in, you can find the that's like in the kitchen, hotel, the it's hotel like right next to it, so. In the description box below. And then you too can sit in a hole or a teddy bear cave. You won't ever want to leave. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Hmm. This room is absolutely ridiculous. You know it would have been great if he did a Donald the Duck voice right there. That would have been perfect. Failed.